microwatts per square meter is a better way to look at it because uh, sort of you, see, you can see you don't understand so well those minus 50 and minus 30 dBMs or what yeah dBMs you can see here what I'm talking about they are equivalent when you was so I pushed this button first and then you could see these minus 50 dBMs yeah but we will use um, zero point so you can see that it's sort of almost very low levels of electromagnetic radiation so we are using uh, <coughs> microwatts per square meter system here, yeah? Okay, let's have a look. This is my bedroom. It's very well peaceful. This is the kitchen. It's okay too. What's going on here? I have to close the door so the cats don't get in. So, there has been worrisome development here. Oh, this is fine. I guess he has switched it off. Hmm. So I will not interrupt him. He's not asleep. It's okay now, yeah. But this thing has been quite a worry. Has to charge up. Has to charge up a bit. Some minutes. I have to use the whole sequence videos for um, scientific documentation of the process.
So now it's starting to play. Can you see it? It's still quite low. Getting its head into gear. We're talking that modem. That is what is causing this radiation. I don't know what is in it. Okay, it's in the blue mode. But you see, I opened it now. And it directly went up. in the blue mode, okay? Right. Technicolor. Made in Vietnam. And this is where it shows. It's not funny. It's getting quite evil. <laughs> and now we're quite a lot, quite away from it. Something like a meter away from it. Ah, 
and it's blue. It shouldn't be having any. Um, because this is the fast line without Wi-Fi. Should be without Wi-Fi. Shouldn't be emitting this without Wi-Fi. Because when I push this button for 10 seconds, then it will start Wi-Fi. This is my new modem. I got it yesterday. So you saw I changed the color into green now. It was blue before. So let's have a look what it emits now. It's approximately the same. No big difference. But the problem is that uh, I can't get it zero leveled with this modem, even if I have it in non-Wi-Fi mode. That is my problem here. And the problem of the whole million of people of Sweden who have these Telia million households who have these Telia modems that can't be switched off into a mode that is electromagnetic radiation free. Okay? So now I will make it even more clear closer. I will put it on the blue mode. This is Wi-Fi mode. You see this Wi-Fi button here? Strangely, it doesn't give any sort of lamps because it should be wireless lamp blinking here as well, but it isn't. So it's very sort of decisive. But at least it's green. It should be wire, wireless on Wi-Fi with green. And when I push this for th 10 seconds, then it should go off and become wireless radiation shut down. You see it did decisively show that it's blue now and it should be wireless radiation free now as it was before like that. But it's not that anymore. You can see it here. It's still pumping on. Full on. So, what they do, they can switch Wi-Fi on and off from administration, from technical administration of Telia network operation operators but they can put it on too in various different modes as you see so now you can't even switch it off this radiation they have changed the program because it wasn't like that before. They have switched the program from the highest source of Telia. Because it was totally low down before, there was no black stream when you were on the blue mode of modem. Okay.
and look, watch at these close levels. And, and my young people are passing by to go to toilet here all the time. They're passing by this modem. And this is on blue. It shouldn't be any Wi-Fi anything. And it was so before. There was no... It was on zeros before when you had it on blue, but it's not that anymore. So Telia Corporation has changed their program. into decisive mode where even the blue wireless free mode is radiating people who are passing by I cannot, I cannot make any other conclusion than that and look what happens if you go even closer look what happens This is not funny. This is very dangerous radiation and it's making children and further people infertile. It's cooking especially male thin testicles and um, this is going on in all homes who have this and that's approximately a million households that is something like three million people are exposed to this now how can you not call this warfare We did create scientifically correct risk model for uh, ionizing radiation. You can find it on uratcom.eau. And we have now also created a dose limit and dose unit. First of all, dose unit and even dose limit for electromagnetic radiation as well. So uh, what we now demand is that this warfare is stopped. That is what it is. It is an attack on our health. It is very decisive, very clever. We love this wisdom providing technology and uh, it ha we have been made almost addictive addicted to it as uh, the money the digital money is hanging in it but it is a trap it is a war trap and we have to dismantle it so these uh, people who work in Telia Corporation, they don't even know it. And there is very confusing information on the internet about these units that are depicted here. Microwatts. and decibel microwatts and how they sort of are measured into a risk dose so please 
wake up and switch off, off these devices. We have survived without them in thousands of years. We have to switch them off until we regain our power over the military corporations that have overtaken our basic resources. This is unfortunately not a peacetime, though we, diarchs of Godland, have proclaimed peace, and the way to peace is to regain power over corporations that are murdering us and making our children and grandchildren infertile. You can find this information on loveorder.info loveorder.info and uh, also eu-rad.com eu dot eu and uh, the legitimate lawful state of Sweden has been restored by the monarch of Sweden, Leif I, whose website is mss.lege.net. You can find these web pages under this video. And may the gods of all the world be with us in this sacred work of restoration of our fertile protection of our birthright and the right to live.